Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been in arbitrary detention since almost a year, has expressed his condemnation of the assassination of the Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Iran through a post from his account on the social media platform X. Mr. Khan also denounced the attack on Beirut by the Israeli occupation forces, calling them blatant violation of international law by the war criminal Netanyahu. Murtaza Hussain and Ryan Grimm of Dropsite News dropped a report about, quote, a massive classified program being run by the Pakistani government that directs thousands of military figures to engage directly in rhetorical battles on social media, end quote. The Army Agahi Network directs groups of military officers to create fake social media accounts to level defamatory accusations and threats against critics of the Army, members of Pakistan civil society, and judiciary and supporters of deposition former Prime Minister Imran Khan and his Pakistan tehreek e party. The report further went on to say how the regime in Pakistan is pursuing a monopoly on the information space. After they have controlled mainstream media through threats and inducements, the PMLN and PPP-led puppet government is implementing an internet firewall targeting dissenting voices on social media and severely limiting internet freedoms. Murtaza Hussain stated that Jeff Goldberg, an expert in social media manipulation pointed out after studying several posts attributed to the network that the Army Agahi network is an example of professionalization of social media manipulation through so-called, quote, digital soldiers, end quote. The recent social media campaign against the superior judiciary, also taken up by the Islamabad High Court, has been linked in the Dropsite News story with the Army Agahi network, with Justice Babur Sattar being one of their prime targets. Pakistan plans to review the virtual private network services available in the country as a step to prevent users skirting its ban on accessing the social media platform X. The Pakistan Telecommunication Authority will conduct a screening process and whitelist the VPNs it considers compliant, said PDA Chairman Hafiz ur rahman while speaking to a parliamentary committee, as reported by the Express Tribune. Protest demonstrations, roadblocks, and clashes between protesters and security personnel continued in Quetta, Gwadar, and other parts of Balochistan on Friday. The Baloch National Gathering, led by Dr. Maharang Baloch, is protesting the enforced disappearances of their people, allegedly by the Pakistani security forces for years. Journalist Nazrana Yusufzai asked how she is able to gather hundreds of thousands of women for the cause, to which Maharang Baloch replied, quote, Each one of them have a loved one missing or killed, end quote. The United States Justice Department filed a lawsuit on Friday against TikTok and parent company ByteDance for failing to protect children's privacy on the social media app as the Biden administration continues its crackdown on the social media site. The government said TikTok violated the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act that requires services aimed at children to obtain parental consent to collect personal information from users under the age of 13. TikTok said that it disagrees with the allegations many of which relate to past events and practices that are either factually inaccurate or have been addressed.